Hello, has been and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another Round the World episode from state to state. Today, the state we're visiting now is Colorado. Let's check out what kind of crime they got going on out there and the time. Well, let's see. What's behind the numbers are people, 317 to be exact in 2022, who reported they were victims of hate crimes in Colorado. Folks who feel like their sense of safety and security in their communities has been diminished, that their sense of belonging in their communities has been diminished, and that's really a quality of, of life issues. Jeremy Shaver works with people every day who make those reports, with the FBI's latest data showing a 14% increase in hate crimes from 2021 to 2022. Well, it is alarming to see the numbers and the number of reports increase. More than half, 57% of hate crimes were due to race or ethnicity, and the next highest, 21%, due to sexual orientation. We're seeing some of the really divisive rhetoric happening in the country, um, having an impact on how people relate to uh, the LGBTQ community. I mean, the, all the legislation being introduced across the country, even in Colorado, that, that has really tried to, I, I think, roll back civil rights protections for the LGBTQ community. The rise in hate crimes in the state coincides with an increase nationwide, proving the issue. So they're using the civil rights protection to keep numbers. That's the, way, that's the way they keep the numbers on the, the crime that's being committed. So it's, it's a two-headed coin on the civil rights. It was widespread, not just across Colorado. But I think across the board, when we see what are the real hot-button political issues, divisive political issues, unfortunately, some people then scapegoat those communities that are being targeted in this debate, and that has real-world consequences. So like we mentioned, there's been a 14% rise in hate crimes from 2021 to 2022. Jeremy says that could also be because law enforcement agencies are doing a better job of recognizing these incidents, reporting them, and pointing victims to resources. So this is 2021, 2022. They just released this. So that means these crimes are still occurring right at this moment in 2024. So I don't know, you know, what how they can get a handle on this because... Uh, hate this within is taught. So if you hate, you hate. If you love, you love. It's just in you. As well. Either way, you don't know what to think. I mean, just the fact that the numbers are up and they're still happening. Right, and some pretty dramatic numbers, right? When you see that 14% in Colorado and then 7% nationwide, those are really significant numbers. And, you know, even if that is because of a positive result of law enforcement uh, reporting more of this, it still means that perhaps this was happening just as much and not being talked about before. Yep, it was happening. All right. See, that's what I say. They're using the civil rights to keep numbers. That's how they keep track of it. But when it comes to a race issue, those numbers is not as significant. Well, I don't understand it, but that's the world we're living in. It's 2024, and this continue to happen. So this is the state of Colorado. Thank you guys for joining me. See you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button. I'm your host, NJW. See you guys next time.